that snowball fight between Olaf and Elsa was just super cool. Watching and playing is always fun, but by the end of this video, you will learn exactly how to program and code this using your Disney Frozen Coding Kit from Hoshare.pk. We also have some surprise tips and tricks for you, so stick around till the end, have fun, and let's get started. Okay, so I have launched my app and on the left, what we have is a code library. So, Joby Hamari code blocks available in this app, mein, they're organized into different buckets. So, we have logic, math, color, world, physics, and all the fun stuff. So, we can check one out. Let's see if I open up world, there's world gravity code block, and I can pick it up and drop it. So, where I'm dropping it, this area is called the code space. Uh, so think of it as your playground. This is where you're going to build things. To get on the right side, what you have is a canvas. Canvas is your stage. So whatever you do here in the code space, using your code library, you will be able to see it happening live in the canvas. You can also go full screen and actually play and interact with your code and programming. Let's check it out. So let's change the background. So we're going to pick a background that is more snowy that so we can do a nice snow fight. Okay. Maybe something like this. It looks great. TK. So first of all, you want to make sure that the motion sensor kit of Disney Frozen Coding Kit is connected via Bluetooth to your laptop, tablet, PC, whatever you're using. TK. So now let's get started. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an event. The event means escape a trigger or something is happening. So it says when the app starts. So when the app starts, what I want to do is I want to have my Olaf and Elsa ready to get started. Okay. So I'm going to go in my objects bucket and I'm going to pick the first one and drop it and snap it right here. Okay. So what I'm telling the app is okay, let's create Elsa, which looks amazing. So now let's move Elsa to the left. Okay, so I'm going to change the x-axis and maybe change it to 200. Perfect. Okay, so Elsa is here. Now let's bring our friend Olaf. So I'm going to go back into objects and let's pick the first one again. And I'm going to snap it right underneath the app. Okay, I have two Elsas. Well, we don't need two Elsas. Who needs two Elsas? So let's go to Olaf. So we're going to pick Olaf. Perfect. Now let's move Olaf to the right. So you guys, I'm going to change the X axis again. And now maybe we'll increase it to 600 and see how it looks. Perfect. So we have Olaf, we have Elsa. They're placed perfectly. We have a great background. Now let's get started and start coding the fun. Okay. So now we program our motion sensor. So let's go back to our bucket called events. And we're going to pick this event called Frozen Kit. We're going to change it to left. So what that means is when I wave my hand left on top of the motion sensor, then do something. So currently it's empty, so it's not going to do anything. But of course, what we want to do is when I'm left, to a snowball going towards Elsa. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So we're going to go into objects and we want to make an object which is going to be a snowball. Okay, so let's go into the object and change it to snowball, snowball right here. Okay, so that's perfect. So let's try. So I'm going to wave left and there's a snowball. Now it's in the middle of the screen, but we'll tell it where to go. So I'm going to change my X axis to where Olaf is. So Olaf is at 600 position. So let's bring it to 600. And Y, I'm going to just lower it a little bit. So it feels like it's coming from Olaf. Perfect. But we're going to change it and make sure it falls over Elsa. All right. So let's go into physics. Well, physics, our favorite subject. Um, and we're going to apply some force, some direction, some strength. Okay. 
So this is where you actually learn how to apply physics. Isn't it exciting? Okay, so let's go and snap it underneath. So what it's giving me, it's giving me three options. Okay? So it's telling me, where do you want me to apply the force? Well, I want to apply force on the snowball. Perfect. TK strength, you can try a different strength, but I'm going to pick a random number, 2,000. So I'm going to hit it with the strength of 2,000. Done. And direction. So direction is which direction do you want the snowball to be thrown in? TK? So I'm going to change it to maybe somewhere in this direction close to, let's, let's pick maybe 260, 61 degrees. Sure. And let's see how it looks. So as, as soon as I swipe or wave my hand on top, whoa, did you see that? Let's try again. Whoa. Okay, perfect. And now half of our job is done. So let me do the most important thing, which is hit the snowball again to Elsa. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to give the exact same powers to Elsa and we're going to tell our sensor that when I, when I wave my hand right, to take a snowball from Elsa and hit it over to Olaf. Take it. So it's going to be exact same steps. I'm going to move it a little up. Maybe we can just zoom out so we have enough room on the screen. And I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps a little faster, but you can follow along. Okay. So I'm going to go into events. I'm going to pick on frozen kit. This time I'm going to change it right. Because remember, we're telling the motion sensor page of wave cutting it on the right or towards right, do certain things here. Okay. So what are we doing? We're creating a snowball just like we did above. And I'm going to change it. Then we're going to change its position to where Elsa is. So Elsa is at 200. So let's do that. And if we increase the value, that's going to lower the snowball. Take it. So that's done. And our favorite application of physics. And we're going to do that by applying a strength. So maybe we can use the same strength if you like, or more, depending on how you want to do it. We want to make sure that it's on the snowball, snowball two, which is the one going from Elsa to Olaf and direction. We can try different directions, but I'm just going to randomly pick maybe about 90, 91 degrees. Sure. Let's wave our hand over the sensor. Boom. There you go. Let's try again. Perfect. Perfect. One more, one more. Okay. I'm enjoying it too much. So we'll stop there. All right. So we're done. We have our snowballs all programmed from Olaf to Elsa, Elsa to Olaf. Now let's make it a full screen and give it a try. There it goes. All right. Okay, so now it's time to show you some cool tips and tricks as promised. So let's get started. So maybe what if we want to do something that when Elsa throws a snowball, okay, now it's white color. So what if we want to do something every time she throws, it, it's a different color or it's changing colors. Okay, so I think that would be something cool to try. So I'm going to go in my object bucket and there's a code called object tint. So I'm going to pick it up and drop it right underneath where I created the object snowball for Elsa. All right, so now it's telling me tint and I want to change this to snowball two, which is the snowball for Elsa. And currently it's showing me colored red. So let's try. So I'm going to wave my hand and let's see what it does. So does it throw? Oh, there you go. There's a red ball. Uh, but I want to change the color. So if I go under my color bucket, ooh, there is a code block called random color. So pick that up and drop it where the red color is. Snap. Okay, so now... Look at that. Every time I'm going to wave my hand towards right, it's going to randomly select a different color. Isn't that cool? All right, let's try something else. So what if you want to make it even more fun? So I want to do something that every time Elsa hits a snowball to Olaf, Olaf spins around in the air. Woo. Okay, so let's try. So I think it should be something under physics. 
Yes, it's motion. It's got to be under physics. So I'm going to pick up an code block called object spin and I'm going to snap it underneath. Boom. All right. So what do I want to spin? I want to spin OLF. And here I have different speeds. So it's currently at a strength of 50. Let's see how it looks. Whoa. Okay. That's too much going on. So what we can do is we can actually change the value either manually or we can go into our second favorite subject, math, and maybe pick a code block so it randomly changes number. So let's find if there's a code block that's called random number. There it is. So I'm going to pick it up and put it where the strength is. So now what I'm telling the code is k spin olf by strength randomly from a strength of 0 to maybe a strength of 30. So it will change. So we'll have some variety, uh, a little bit of uniqueness every time we throw a snowball. Let's give it a try. That's our first one. So not that much strength. Here comes a second one. Whoa. And it goes all the way. One more time. Woo. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now, you know, it's not fair that all the powers belong to Elsa. So now let's give some powers to Olaf as well. And because Olaf is my favorite, we're going to give some very special power to Olaf. So let's go into control. And what we're going to say is that instead of throwing one snowball, what if we throw many, many, many at the same time and just dump Elsa under a mountain of snowball. All right. So what have I done is I've put a block saying repeat this X amount of time. So I'm going to change this 10 to maybe 50. TK. So repeat this 50 times. What are we repeating? A snowball coming from Olaf over to Elsa with this strength. TK. Now, because we made Olaf spin, we're going to also make Elsa spin. All right, so exact same thing. I'm going to change it to Elsa and we'll leave the strength 50 for now. All right, so let's see what it's doing. OK, I'm going to go into full screen. So first I'm going to wave right. Ooh, there comes a snowball. Oof, and there it goes, our Olaf. But since we gave some powers to Olaf, so let's give it a try. Whoa, OK, that was pretty cool. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. We'll see you in the next video.